I am Emmeline Stewart. I am the owner of Stewart Cinema and Cafe. Now, I'm the first black Latina to own a movie theater. I don't plan to be the last, and I hope to keep growing. And I'm gonna be the first black Latina to own a multiplex in New York, in a neighborhood that hasn't had a movie theater in 32 years, Sunset Park, which is where I grew up. We show uh, studio movies, kids play video games here, seniors watch movies during the day, there's parties, filmmakers use it, film festivals are held here, meetings, panels. So Emily, she's awesome. She's actually been very generous in allowing our Explorer youth to come in and actually view different movies because other youth are they're of different ethnicities and different cultural backgrounds. For them to be able to see an actual descendant of Dominican descent and for her to actually own a cinema and a movie theater and cafe as well as cafe it's a it's a great deal for them. People should come and support Stewart Cinema and Cafe because this space was built for us. Um, the moviegoer, the person who likes to have a snack um, and watch a movie in a comfortable setting, um, this is the place. Um, whether you're an independent artist who is looking to maybe rent a location to do stand-up or to screen your, your independent movie or to promote um, a baby shower or whatever it is, it's a space that most people can use. And we're losing those spaces um, all over the city. Personally, I think if I think about my day-to-day -day job and my purpose in life, it's really to help people and encourage and inspire the next generation of young women, specifically young women of color, to pursue their dreams. Um, I grew up in a small town in Hawaii and I didn't ever imagine being able to come to New York and work with women like Emmeline. To be able to see someone accomplish their dreams like that, it's, you can't, you can't put a price to that. I self-funded this place and so I had no real credit because I had been doing everything cash. And so now that I was ready to build a multiplex, I needed money. We came to work with Emmeline here at uh, Stewart Cinema Cafe through our local outreach officers that we call loan consultants. They go out into the community uh, and they meet business owners. But the way we actually do that is through partners, uh, sometimes community partners, sometimes bank partners, who introduce us to uh, people that need access to capital and know that they probably won't qualify for a formal bank loan. So that's what happened here. Uh, our loan consultant uh, came across and met with Emily, understood uh, the situation she had, and realized that we could fit a piece of our capital to solve her puzzle, which was to get uh, this great cinema cafe off the ground. It's important for TD Bank to work with local community organizations uh, like Ascendus because there are often times where a small business, a mom and pop business, a startup business that wants to get access to funds or capital and uh, TD Bank may not be able to provide the funds directly. So we work with organizations like Ascendus that we can help Ascendus and Ascendus can then help the local community, local nonprofit, local mom and pop. When you support a small business, you're not just supporting that small business owner, you're supporting the whole ecosystem of small business owners. Small business owners, they'll tell you that where they shop, where they source all their materials from other small businesses, and someone like Emelyn and Stewart Cinema, they're supporting all those other small businesses. So please, support small business. So if you have a vision, if you have a dream, work on it every day, slowly. Right, I have one screen, now I'm gonna have three screens. So start somewhere and use whatever you have.